So Jed Jerko, our guest, and Jed, boy, it has been a, a tumultuous season, I think, to say the least. You had a managerial change, team, team not performing perhaps as uh, high to its expectations as maybe you and a lot of folks had anticipated. And in there, you're faced with the challenge of having to go back down to the minor leagues to work on a few things, which I can only imagine was very difficult. After you got the news and processed all that information, what did you go down there to work on, and what was your mindset? Oh, I think... Obviously, I think I needed to hit better. I think I went down there to you know to get every day at bats. The the situation was that um, obviously Spangy was getting getting the at bats and he he was performing well. Um, the, the at bats just weren't there for me at the time, so it, it made sense for me to go down, you know, get get every day at bats, get 60, 70 at bats, find my swing and and come back and try to help the team win. And um, obviously, I, like like you said, it's it's never it's never a cool thing to have to go down there and do that. But at at the same time, it was. It was something that uh, you know I agreed with them on that, that I think I needed to play every day, and uh, so that's where the opportunity was. Does it take the pressure off of you when you go down to the minors, you're not playing under the lights of 50,000 people? Does that help a player relax? Uh, I think it can. Obviously, you still got to go down there and perform just because uh, you know the lights aren't aren't as big. You know, there's not as many people. You know, it's still the same game. You got to go out there. You got to perform. Um, you know, I was I went down there on a mission to you know to find my swing, so I, I was pretty locked in on that. And from, from that from that point on, when I got sent down until I came back, you know, I made it a goal to, to make sure I got myself as ready as I can when I came back. There are guys who go down and say, you know, it, it made the game fun again on, on a certain level. Not that it's not fun here. Clearly, it should be at the big league level. But did you find that to be a, a part of what you were experiencing down there? Uh, a little bit. You you kind of just relax and kind of enjoy being with the guys. Not, not the, obviously, we got the some of the best teammates uh, up here and obviously being in the big leagues is the best thing that's ever happened but um you know obviously you can just kind of take almost, almost take a deep breath when you go down there and kind of just kind of sit back relax and then uh, kind of get back to work I want to show you a picture that one of your El Paso teammates had tweeted and I think it gives people a really interesting perspective of life in the minor leagues even at AAA I mean this is with you in El Paso this is from Daniel McCutcheon one of the pitchers I'm not quite sure which one of these guys is you are you even in this photo or are you taking it no, I, I'm I'm right beside uh, Daniel as he, as he took the picture. I, I'm not much of a sleeper in in the airports, but um, I think we had a, about a 3:30 wake up call and a 6 a.m. flight. And uh, as you can tell, some of the guys I don't think got enough sleep uh, the night before. <laughs> well, Daniel had tweeted that you know, it, it, and I don't know if it was tongue in cheek, but you know, 3A, you know, AAA, not really that much different than the show. Right. Clearly, it is. But I would assume he was, and he's got time in the big leagues as well. But what, in your mind, what's the biggest difference between AAA and the big leagues, aside from the difference in uh, in play on the field? Um, uh, I think the travel obviously is is a little bit different. You know, they they take pretty good care of you. I'm not the uh, you know Triple A's tough. It's it's not easy. Obviously, that's when uh, you know guys when they say you're you're down there grinding. There's it's no joke. Guys are down there working hard trying to get up here. But um, you know, obviously the travel is 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 tough. Obviously, but um, you know it's it's great. It's it's all part of the the process. Well, since you've come back, and it's been a little while now since you came back from Triple A, you've been playing extremely well. Where is your head as far as where your performance is right now and where you expect it to be? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's getting closer to where I need to be. I think obviously um, it's still got still a lot of work to do, but um, it's a lot better than where I was from the start. So uh, hopefully just keep, you know, obviously going to keep working, keep working with, uh, you know, Zoe and Cots and, and Hoffie now that, now that I might be playing some shortstop. So, uh, you know, the work's, the work's going to keep continuing, but I think I'm headed in the right direction. If you were to... Uh, project your slash line as we call it in the game you know at the batting average on base percentage slugging percentage let's just talk average home runs RBIs how do you see yourself as a hitter um, I don't know I've never really thrown out uh, statistical numbers obviously uh, I'd like to see about a hundred wins that's what that's what I'm looking at that's that's what that's what we're trying to accomplish here I think uh, if the team is if the team's playing well, your individual numbers are going to be where you need to be. I think one of the reasons fans really enjoy what you do is because of comments just like that. It's not a selfish-natured player for sure, and and we appreciate as a fan. I think all that you're bringing to the table, whether it's at shortstop, second base, third base, heck, you might pitch tomorrow if you just uh, if you ask <laughs> or we're, the need arises. If I'm pitching, we're in we're in big trouble. <laughs> it's mop-up duty yeah, when the fielders pitch.